So you're looking to improve with Killjoy. Well, luckily today I've got you covered because I'm bringing you guys the top Killjoy tips and tricks that you could ever want. This is going to help you improve at Killjoy and along with that also help you become a better teammate and hopefully allow you to frag out because in the end we want to get that rank you've always wanted. And if you can get more kills with Killjoy and get less deaths, then overall we're going to start ranking up even faster. And I can't wait for you guys to watch this video all the way through because these are some crazy tips. And at the end, we're going to share a really special tip for anyone. Doesn't matter if you're playing Killjoy or not, we got you guys covered. So let's go ahead and get right into these. And to start, we're basically just going to be talking about how abilities of Killjoy can deal damage through floors and we're mainly talking about the nano swarm grenades here and a great spot to show you guys this is on ascent a site in hell so what i like to do i always like to pull out my nano swarm grenade come over to this corner and then just chuck that thing over there this is going to be great because what you can do you can sit like probably i probably wouldn't sit up here but we're i'll show you guys where i would sit after this but you're basically just going to be able to pop this thing and it is going to deal damage above it as you guys can see right there. This is crazy whenever you have like the spike planted somewhere like this and you have control of this A main and even over here and you're just expecting them to come up on catwalk. You can go ahead and even sit back here and whine, wait for it to pop and then right when you get some info, which let's say we got a turret just kind of sitting here and telling us whenever they come, you can go ahead and uh, just pop it. You'd press F to interact with it and then it would pop and then hopefully we would get some damage done on them and give us the edge on the opponents. And so that was my first tip, just finding those weird places. I know that there are a few over here that we can do. Like right here, you can sometimes throw it underneath there to hide it. And there are a few more, like for example, on the other side, I just wanna run over here really quickly so that I can show you guys one other one. You can go ahead and learn to throw the nano swarm grenade right over there so that it's hidden and then it will still deal damage because you are still above it. So that's what I like to do for the first tip. And now while we're over here, let's just take a theoretical situation for our next tip. And that's the counter Killjoy's ultimate, the opposing Killjoy's ultimate with your own Killjoy's ultimate. So let's say, for example, let's look at our mini map and let's say that Killjoy planted the, the ultimate here so that they can get a free spike plant on B and just basically clear it out. So this goes ahead and happens, but you're sitting over here in Boathouse. So what do you want to do? Well, if you have your ultimate, go ahead and pop it right away because basically what's going to happen, the opposing team's Killjoy, which we can't really get a good look at, but it basically just detained me. And now they're going to start searching for players, but... Look, this one's about to pop and then they're going to be detained. I'm going to become undetained first and then I'm going to be able to see them, shoot at them and call it a day. We get the free and easy kills. And that's one tip I would definitely have if you're dying a ton to opposing team Killjoys. If you're playing Killjoy, just go ahead and use your ultimate to counter their ultimate. It's amazing. It's perfect. So go ahead and do that the next time you find yourself in that situation. And the next one, we're coming over to a common place to find our next tip, and that's to use your abilities together. Mainly when I like to use this, I like to use the alarm bot and the nano swarm grenade. So the alarm bot, I'll throw down there. And then over here, we'll throw the nano swarm grenade. And then I'm honestly just waiting as the alarm bot does its job. Like an alarm in a house, it goes off, it tells you when people are nearby. And as soon as it gets triggered, I go ahead and pop the nano swarm grenade and just take a bit of damage away from that opponent. This is a really simple tip that you guys have to master in order to get good at Killjoy. So that's a huge one. Let's move on to our next one. And that's to actually learn lineups with the Nano Swarm Grenade. So a big deal that I have with this one, or a really big tip that I have is whenever you're pushing, let's say that you're being an attacker on B site. I know this site and this map by far out of anyone because this is the map that I played the most Killjoy on. I've learned to just come over here. I can actually just line up over here. It doesn't even have to be perfectly lined up. I can just throw this thing against the wall and it can clear out this area where some players like to play right over there. And they're gonna take damage. You guys have seen my damage go down. So they can't just sit here and hide now. Another one that you can do, and this isn't even really a lineup, it's more of just pre-firing. You can throw a nano swarm grenade back there, let it drop, and now players can't sit back there. 
it's so free to just clear out angles and i really like it because i know some people will just sit back here they'll go ahead and crouch and try to be all sneaky and that's not gonna fly since we have two nano swarm grenades we can kind of just chuck one there we can come over here peek real quick chuck that one over there and we hit that one we hit that one and it is free as long as we check those two angles right there then we get a free push on the site so guys, that was, I believe, our fourth tip, maybe. I don't know. Now let's move on to our next one. And that's basically just going to be save credits by picking up the utility. So let's say, just for example, you were right over here. But we knew that the opposing team was pushing A site. Well, we don't want to just leave our utility. This is kind of like Cypher. You could save, basically, let's, say, let's just take a look. We have our infinite abilities on. So we go like this. We go ahead and use it really quickly. We got to go like that. And here we go. It's 200 credits that you can easily save by just picking it up. And it has a seven second um, timer for it to refill. Then once the round ends, we save 200 credits and it is as simple as that. So guys, be sure to just pick up any utility you place down before the end of the match or round so that you are able to go ahead and just save as many credits as possible. The next one that I want to talk to you guys about, we're staying on B site, and that's going to be to place unpredictable turrets. So let's just say we've placed this one. I know I've recommended this, this uh, turret a ton, just placing it up there so that it's able to watch this location over here. And let's say they're getting used to it. They're coming over and they're just pre-firing it. Well, we can actually go ahead and fix this by coming over here and just placing another one. We can place it right here so that it's still somewhat concealed and didn't want to place. Okay, so let's try this again. We can come over here and place it right there instead. This way, they're not going to expect it as much. They're going to go ahead and just peek and they're probably going to get shot at by that turret. Always be switching things up and you'll just find yourself doing better, getting more out of your utility. So you got that one right there. You got this one right there. You can even place your uh, turret right here, just rotate it and place it right there. And then we can also head back here and place one on site. I'm just giving you guys a ton of different options. You guys will find your own, of course. We can place it right there, of course, perfect. And a mini tip within this, you always wanna place it at a 45 degree angle. So just like this, because it's cutting off the littlest amount of viewing area. So you see it's gonna peek at this wall a good bit, Whereas if we just place it like this, right like this, it's probably going to be looking at the wall a good bit. We'll let it turn and everything. Look, it's staring at the wall a very long time. So go ahead and just be aware of that. We want to be placing it at 45 degree angles because that's perfect. So now for our next tip, we're going to be watching our flanks. So this is mainly going to be used whenever we're attacking. So let's say, for example, our team said, let's push B. This is perfect. We can go ahead and let our team push, but then let's just place a quick alarm bot so that we're able to know. Then we can also come and place our turret right over here to watch mid for us. When we know, well, first of all, our alarm bot will trigger whenever they push, but we'll also be able to get a few shots off by the turret if we have players over here. It's perfect. You guys should definitely be using this tip. Go ahead and just use it to watch your flanks. You have to be careful that you aren't too far away though, or else the turret will stop working. So as you guys can see that far, but then once I get right here, then it will look, work. We can see that circle on our mini maps. So you're able to tell whenever you're getting too far away. So like, for example, I'd be sure to just hold here and have one of my teammates hold site. So that's something that we also need to keep in mind now that they updated that portion of it. And now for our kind of final tip for just solely killjoy it's going to be just to learn the lineups or your setups because that is going to help you so much we talked about lineups earlier and that's more for attacking but we can also talk about this with uh defending so you you need to know which sites you want to go to for example i know whenever i'm defending b site i will mainly the first couple rounds i'm placing my turret right there i'm placing my alarm bot right there my nano swarm grenade right here then we'll save another nano swarm grenade over here on under these boxes like right there just so that i'm able to prevent the spike plant this is watching that area right there and then i will honestly probably just kind of chill right here or i'll support my teammates over here just so that they don't break free with mid i'll just sit like right here and just kind of watch it 
So that's how I would play it. And I know this for basically every single map and every single site on the map. And listen, we've already made a video on this and that's gonna be on the info card in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. So if that's something you wanna learn, then after this next tip, go ahead and check that out. But for our last tip, it's actually how to counter Killjoy. And that's just really simple, you Silva. His arrows will actually be able to pick up all the utility if you're able to shoot it. So that's always good to know where the utility is. That's always like gives you the upper hand. If Killjoy doesn't know that you know where the utility is, then it's perfect. So go ahead and just use the arrow. Even the drone will be able to pick it up. So like they, they I'm pretty sure you're even able to mark. So like you could fly your drone over here and you could see that there's a little bit of the nano storm grenade peeking out. You can go ahead and ping that thing. I'm acting as a drone in that case scenario. And then you know where everything is. So you're able to work around it. Guys, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for these tips and tricks. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on because we're helping you guys become better at Valorant with every single video we upload. That's gonna be it for me today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.